Hey, this is Tyler Skidmore with Fly Rod Chronicles and West Virginia Fly Guys. For this fly tying Friday, we're going to be doing a stone fly pattern. We're going to start by using a size 14 sage caddis hook. And our thread is going to be 18 knot um, Semperfly Nano Silk Thread. And I'm just going to start by dressing the hook. Once I get my tag in nice and singed down, I'm going to clip it free. And I'm going to reach for my, my silly legs here. In this case, I'm using black. I'm going to double them over with a loop. And then tie them on about eh, hook eye's gap lengths behind the actual hook eye. And now I'm just going to pull back on it, keep it towards me, and wrap it all the way down to about the barb of the hook. And the reason I hold it towards me is so that I make sure that whenever my thread torque pulls it, it pulls it to the top of the hook and um, they should splay pretty well. Now I've returned my thread to the three fourths point of, of the hook shank here. Now I'm gonna tie in some black tubing or stretch cord here, whatever you prefer. Um, it just helps to segment the body in it. Makes your fly look a little bit different. Um, once I get it um, firm to the hook shank, I'm gonna work my way forward to where I tied it in. And I'm just gonna go right in front of that tie in point. And now I'm gonna start wrapping my tubing. Just doing touching wraps all the way up the hook shank. When I get to my tie in point, I'm gonna be sure that I do uh, three or four wraps to make sure that it's it's firmly tied down here and it's not going to go anywhere. This stuff's pretty stretchy and sometimes it can make a mess. And then I'm going to stretch it, pull it, and then cut it. Now I'm going to reach for some pheasant tail fibers here. And I'm going to grab, I would say probably eight would be a good number. And once, once I get those cut free from the stem, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually cut the tips off the feather and then tie it in. I'm going to work back up um, my stretch cord here for probably an eighth of an inch. And that's where my, my pheasant tail will be tied in. I'm going to reach for some dubbing here. And this is, um, this is loose, uh, pretty long stranded dubbing. and I'm gonna start wrapping it. And I want it to get pretty bulky here because this is gonna be, um, this dubbing after we pick it out, is this is gonna be our legs. Stoneflies have a lot of legs, so we wanna make sure that we imitate that well. And it looks like I might need some more. So I'm gonna add a little bit more here. I just wanna build up a little bit of bulk in this area. And then I'm gonna pull over my pheasant tail. I'm gonna double it down, tie it in, and then snip it free. Now, before we go any farther, I'm gonna go and reach for my whip finish tool here. I'm gonna throw in five or six turns, followed by another four or five, and then I'm gonna cut my tying thread free. Now I'm gonna reach for my dubbing brush and um, it's got some velcro on the other side of it and i'm just going to start tearing away at this dubbing um, i'm gonna i'm gonna use strokes that go straight down and then a little bit back as well i'm gonna pull all these legs out here and i'm gonna snip them right at where the hook point would be it's going to give our stone fly quite a little buggy look and i go up and i snip our loop and that gives us the antennas. Now I'm gonna go for a little UV resin here. In this case, I'm using solar res. And I'm gonna put a little bit on my bodkin and I'm just gonna start coating it over the wing case, building up a little bit of a head here. Once I get it to where I like it, I'm gonna hit it with a shot of UV light to make sure that my resin's good and cured.
Now that I've got my resin cured, I'm just going to come in with my tying scissors and clean up my head a little bit. Um, I don't know if you can see this or not, but I've got some on the antenna there that uh, ended up curing. And that's, that's real easy to just pull off and snip free. Um, and after that, my fly is finished. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Also, you can go to www.westvirginiaflyguys.com for more flies like these. Thanks for watching.